Hello guys, welcome to another session on TestNG. So in the last session we saw how to do custom logging in TestNG. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. So in this tutorial I am going to explain you how to generate a custom report. What custom logging does is it lets you know what all is going on currently in your test. But to get a summary of the results of your test you need something of a reporting sort of uh, mechanism so that's what our custom reporter is used for so let's quickly dive into the code for a custom reporter you always need two classes one is your custom reporter class and the second one is the class on which you are creating that custom report so the class on which we are creating our custom report will be our a class which we have been using till now that is a first test class in this first test class let me delete all the remaining classes for now and let me just maximize this in the first test class what is going on is we will start from the very top the first method registration is a simple test method it does not belong to any uh, it's highlighted in blue over here you can see it it does not uh, have any dependencies and it asserts true so this will always pass assert dot assert true true which means it will always pass next is the method login which is dependent on method registration and it will only work it will only execute after it executes registration so if in the test ng xml you have mentioned login as your login as your method then it will execute only after executing registration then comes the method reservation which executes after login since this is dependent on depends on method login and moreover login method will also always return a uh, true so it will always pass similarly reservation method will always pass the last method checkout is where it's not the last method last but one where it depends on reservation and it always fails since assert dot assert true false has been given then comes an independent method called skip test which will get executed uh, as per alphabetical order and this throws a new skip exception skip test skip exception throw new skip exception skip test is skip so it will always skip this particular test so this is what our first test java is all about let's now look into custom reporter java here i have created a class as usual and this class implements i reporter now what is i reporter let's hover over that and uh, you will get to know this interface can be implemented by clients to generate a report its method generate report will be invoked after all the suites have run and the parameter give and the parameters give the test result that happened during that run so after your test execute this will this will be triggered this generate report method has to be implemented since it is a uh, unimplemented method in this interface it will ask you to implement this method it will ask you to give a body to uh, this method so what this uh, method does is it generates a report for the given suites into a specified output directory now what is that output directory it is here it is specified as a parameter okay here uh, you can see over here uh, yeah since it's a string it is not giving any but this is the output directory which will have all the results then comes the xml suite list of xml suites what xml suite is it's a class that describes the tag suite in test ng xml so it will check for the suite tag in xml in your test ng dot xml and i have created a list of um, xml suite here the next parameter is a list of i suite i suite is an interface defining a test suite then we have this auto generated stuff this don't pay attention to this then we are iterating over i suite it's an interface defining a test suite uh, we are iterating over that uh, we are creating a variable called runner suite and we are iterating uh, for all the suites so this variable is getting used over here 
and then we are fetching the name of the sweep using runner sweep dot get name. So this will get the name name of the sweep. It uh, returns the name of the sweep, and then uh, coming uh, going ahead, it's uh, getting the results for the sweep. So how to get the results from the sweep? You have to use the uh, variable that is used in the for loop and then put a dot and then get results method will return you the results for this sweep. Then it will it will give you the results in the form of a map, and i string result will hold the value of your result. So next I am going to define i sweet result para uh, i sweet result loop variable, and it is a class that represent the result of a sweet run. Here I am using the values from the map sweet that was defined earlier, and that has the results inside. So values will give you the value instead of the key. Uh, as you might be knowing the map has a key and a value pair so it is using the values from our map then we are getting a i test context variable it it is a interface having all the details of a test run so this i test uh, text context will have the details of your test run and what this get text test context does is it returns the testing context for this test so whatever the test result is it will return that result and finally i am printing the result of our test run using test context variable dot get pass test dot get all results and dot size so this will print the number of tests that have passed failed and skipped so this is all about our custom reporter class now let's go ahead and run our test just right click here on the test ng xml okay let me quickly show you the test ng xml yeah so this is our test ng xml in which i have put a listener remember you need to put a listener for your custom logger and custom reporter both and this listener connects your test class with the reporter class then comes your target class which is getting executed so now i'm going to run it run as test ng sweet it's getting executed there it has got executed registration has passed skip test has got skipped login reservation has passed and checkout has failed as expected so in the console you will see a summary of our test results here i have three test passing one skipping and one failing passed count 3 failed count 1 skipped count 1 so this is how your custom reporter works in testing e thank you very much for watching this video do like and subscribe thank you